YouTube, it's Rick with New Camp Knives, and today I wanted to talk to you about the video you're about to watch. Um, I actually was going to start a new project and hammer a point in from just a regular billet for another chef knife that I'm going to be working on, and then I was going to refine the edge on this chef knife that I started in the, one of the previous videos. What I did was the problem, I actually took too much handle. So this was this long, and then I started thinning it out today. So now the handle's long, but I gotta, I'll gotta i cut that off to fit. I just wanna make sure the handle is not too thick. See how much thicker this is? Right, You can see where I stopped, actually, right here. So I need to do the rest of this, give it, I don't know, a couple more inches out of it, then I'll cut it off and get ready for grinding. But anyway, the real purpose of this video is to talk about how not to waste your money and to work efficiently. Um, anytime you turn the forge on, it's propane forge, so you got to pay for the propane. So let's make certain that we're maximizing, uh, you know, the heating of the steel. So rather than just come in here and turn the forge on and pound this out, and then another time, turn the forge on and pound this out, what I do is I take this steel, since it's bigger, and I get it in the forge first, let it get hot up to temperature. And then just before I'm about to start working that, and you'll see in the video, um, then I toss this one in and come out, hammer this, goes back in the fire, grab this one out, do what I need to do here. And I use the cross bead and the horn and, and the anvil to, to just get the length I need. Anytime you're using the cross bead, what it does is it, uh, maybe I should save this for another video, but uh, the cross bead is very narrow point of impact. And against the anvil, what it does is it will stretch the steel this way and this way, rather than this way. When you use the rounding side of a hammer, it spreads it in all directions. But anyway, I digress. Today was about working efficiently. So I'll show you how I do it in the, in the forge. And it's a little bit hectic and it, uh, it goes pretty quick, but I'll try and speed it up so that you don't have to just watch every moment of it. All right. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again. Bye. So I'm using both sides of the forge, I got steel, whoa, hey now, knife over here, new bar over here that I'm hammering a point in and I'm alternating. One's getting hot while I'm hammering the other.